Inverse graphics is an approach to 3D perception, which views it as the inverse problem to rendering. Recent results in inverse graphics, such as neural radiance fields, Gaussian splatting, and 3D perception with probabilistic programs, suggest that inverse graphics may be increasingly important in 3D perception going forward. Probabilistic inverse graphics methods may be especially applicable to applications in open-world mobile robotics, as they can generate probabilistic belief states specifying both knowledge and uncertainty about the state of the 3D world. Uncertainty awareness can be critical to efficient task completion in open-ended environments. To explore the viability of probabilistic inverse graphics for mobile robots that must explore and manipulate objects in an open-world environment, we built Sponana. Sponana, spot finding bananas in unknown banana lunges, is a prototype control system for the spot robot which enables it to explore an environment filled with unknown objects to find and retrieve a target object. Our primary research objective in Sponana was to build an end-to-end -end mobile manipulation system using probabilistic perception and gain insights about the opportunities and remaining challenges of this technology. Our primary technical objective was to ensure Sponana achieved improved task level efficiency through the use of belief state awareness relative to simpler baselines. The choice of target objects received meticulous attention. After intense deliberation, we selected the banana. The banana is a white fruit with a yellow peel enjoyed by humans and chimpanzees alike. We indeed found that its banana controller performed banana retrieval up to 1.5 times faster than ablation without probability awareness, taking much more efficient paths through many environments. Here is an example of how belief awareness allows banana to make better decisions about how to explore the environment. Upon entering the room, spots go to the vantage point near the door and look at the table, receiving an image like this. Its probabilistic perception system generates a belief state like this. We show the belief state here rendered from two viewpoints. Spots know where visible objects are, and generates many samples of possible poses where the banana might have been hidden from view. It then uses these samples to estimate the probability that you will find bananas if you go to each side of the room. It realizes that it's a better bet to go to the right side of the room due to better visibility, and it goes there, and spots the banana. As such, our spot controller only searches two locations in each of the room. On the other hand, the belief unaware controller explores all three locations in each room, walking along the pre-specified trajectory until it finds a banana, even though it's suboptimal. Sponana is implemented using four modules, a probabilistic inverse graphics perception system, a navigation system, a grasping system, and a belief-aware task-level controller. The navigation system is responsible for steering Spot to target locations in the environment chosen by the task controller. The navigation system uses RRT motion planning with shortcutting for efficiency. The graphing system uses anti-photo graph selection and inverse kinematics-based graph execution for banana pickup. The task-level controller implements a finite state machine whose transitions are determined by the current belief state returned by the perception system. The probabilistic perception system solves an approximate Bayesian inference problem in a joint probabilistic model over the latent scene state and the set of RGB depth images Spot has observed so far. This yields a representation of the posterior distribution over possible 3D scene states given no observations. There are a number of limitations to the current system. The least robust banana subsystem is a grasping. We expect that this can be improved by switching from the position to force control and using graph selector opti optimized for spot gripper rather than for the WSG gripper. Spadana also gives spot knowledge of the map and this ground throughput in it. Future system viable outside of the simulation should use SLAM instead. For other limitations and next steps, see our project report. We conclude by reporting three takeaways from the Sponana project about the viability of probabilistic inverse graphics in open-world mobile robotics. First, modern software for probabilistic inverse graphics has indeed become robust and efficient enough to integrate into basic end-to-end -end mobile robot prototypes. The Sponana project also yielded insight into two desiderata we think will help probabilistic perception better support mobile robotic applications in the future. First, open-world mobile manipulation would be facilitated by state representations which contain not only objects, but also coarser notions of spatial occupancy. Second, end-to-end -end robotic applications may benefit from further research about the interface between belief state controllers and planners and probabilistic perception. We wonder, how can such interfaces enable the controller to convey to the perception system the task-level value of spending more computation to return a more accurate belief state? Clearly, Sponana is a robot with unparalleled practical value. Not only can Sponana retrieve bananas from unknown simulated banana lounges, but it can do so with greater efficiency than naive baselines. When bananas are on the line, time is of the essence. We hope you'll consider using Sponana for retrieving bananas from an unknown banana lounge near you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we solved robotics, guys.